hello guys welcome to how to fix stack in this video guys we are going to speed up our windows 10 or the 11 laptop or the machines you have whether you are using ssd or sdd drives this video is for you i am going to fix the slowness issue on your windows or the if your window is already running good then this video will make it better so let's start without wasting our time so first of all we need to disable or turn off the background apps which run inside our windows with no regions go to search bar type there background apps okay click on that once you click on that you can see the apps here so by default in the windows it is automatically on it means that the background apps will run whether you on or not okay so just turn it off now whether we are turning it off but we can manually on it okay let's say calculator I have just turned it on off sorry so you can see I'm able to on it but it is running in the background as well you can see there okay so no need to run a automatic background apps just turn off this as well after turning it off you will see the reduces in the RAM as well as the hard and the speed up for windows so we need to just only leave this option windows security this is for security purpose so just turn it off like I have done it okay you need to just follow this step after that once it is done close this and now we need to delete the junk files as well as the prefetch files from your windows now your C drive should be like blue like this okay it should not be like red okay if it is already red let me try to clean the temp and prefill files we need to press window plus R button together or you can go to search bar and then type the run the run box will open you need to type the temp and hit ok once you hit ok you can see those are junk files here we need to select it with the control A and shift plus delete only you need to press shift plus delete, delete to permanently delete all the items ok just delete it ok you skip some of them now again you need to go to the search bar or press window plus R button together and type there percentage and TEMP and percentage and hit OK once you hit OK you can see there are folders and files which I don't need so control A and shift plus delete ok currently continue you can see almost 1 GB will be free now ok let me minimize this now we need to again press window plus R button prefetch like this hit ok click continue options now again you can see these files and folders hampers the performance of windows so control A to shift delete do the same process so now you can see we have deleted all the junk files as well as the prefetch files from our windows you can see there is 10 GB now it was earlier 8 GB I think ok so and additionally you can press window plus R button together clean MGR and hit ok and select C drive click on ok and now delete all the ok junk files clean MGR old windows files from here and once this is done check your issue should be fixed ok in the third method we will disable the startup apps 
like when you reboot your system the all the apps will automatically run in the background as well so we need to right click on the task manager we need to right click on the taskbar setting then click on task manager options and if you are seeing like this you need to press click on this option more details then go to startup and now all should be disabled here except only this option windows security notification and this is my vpn so i cannot disable this but rest you can see i have disabled all the options if it is enabled like this okay you just need to click on right click disable right click disable okay all should be disabled okay if i enable these options from here when i reboot my system all the application will load automatically and open it okay so your memory and the hard drive uses will be going up so that's why we have disable all the options here you need to do the same settings like this once this is done this should fix your issue so in the fourth method we will disable the third party services from our window so we need to press window plus r button together and we need to type there ms config like this hit ok once you hit okay go to this tab services okay in the general tab we can also modify the settings here go to boot go to advanced and make sure the number of processor is chosen the maximum and the maximum memory is selected here okay okay then go to services and click on disable all the services from here okay disable it click on apply click on okay once this is done you just need to restart your system and thereafter your issue will be fixed so after applying these four to five method your window should run smoothly so hope this video is useful for you if yes then hit like subscribe and share thank you thanks for watching how to fix tech